Today on the channel, we head to a savage land with the Marvel Legends Zabu build a figure wave in Kazar and Wolf Spain. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Wave unboxing and review and today on the channel we're taking a trip to that savage land with Kazar and of course Wolf Spain but for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store use the link in the description down below got to get a deal out there and Big Bad Toy Store has this wave going right now but of course we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there and then of course we got to do ladies first and i guess werewolf ladies first why wouldn't we we're going to the x mansion we're hitting up old wolf spain and of course wolf spain started out in the new mutants if i'm not mistaken i always get her and isn't it feral from x force kind of confused but she went over of course to x factor all keeping our exes together she was on the x factor i believe simon cowell was a member of the team at that time as well but of course everybody loves a werewolf everybody loves a werewolf female i know i do uh, but we're here for Wolf Spain, and technically, I think her second Marvel Legends figure. We'll do some comparisons later on in this video. But of course, you got the Zabu build a figure piece in here, rocking most of the package. We do see with some of these smaller figures, but boy, it just really feels like the old times here. I'm still getting used to the plastic coming back, so this feels a little shocking. Feels like, am I doing a throwback unboxing? What's going on here? But this is brand new Wolf Spain, of course, Marvel Legends. Uh, we're four and up on this one, and thankfully we got Mark Summers and Todd McFarlane, a double dose on the couch here today. Todd McFarlane taking notes. He wants to see what the competition's up to here. And Mark Summers, he's here. He's my muscle. That's what he is. He's going to unwrap all my physical challenges here for me. But Mark, you know what to do. Three and below uh, for this one. It's four and up, so three and under. Tell them to get out of here. If there's any three-year-olds milling around this property anywhere, Get them the heck out of here. Make them go play in the street, as I always do say. So shout out to Mark Summers over there on the couch. Big bubble window, as I did mention. Wolf Spain on the side. Wolf Spain on the side. Got the big cross sell down low here. We're always here for that. We're unboxing them all on the channel. Very end, the last video, we're going to unbox Cable, and we're going to build Zabu, and we're going to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. So stay tuned for that in the future. And of course, you got the Marvel logos uh, all over the place, jibber jabber down low, all that kind of fun stuff. But we do got a little tail of the tape, a little blurbage action here. Let's see what it says about old Wolf Spain. A member of the New Mutants, Wolf Spain trains with Professor X to master her powers of lycanthropy, which I believe is a fancy name for werewolf, of course. Uh, it talks about the New Mutants here, but it's interesting on the glamour shot here. It looks like X Factor members in the background. I think I see Strong Guy's hand. I see Multiple Man back there. So uh, mixing it up a little bit, I guess, is what we're doing there. But let's get this Wolf Spain out of the package. See you later. Goodbye, Plastic Prison. Looking extra Wolf Spainy is what that one looks like to me. And we're gonna pop these little hands out there. We're gonna pop the figure out. No twist ties here. You taking that down? Write that down, Todd McFarlane. See you later goodbye but we do get the big old body piece look at that big old body here and we'll dive into him uh in the future here on the channel stay tuned for that of course two fists of wolf spain fury going on and then of course if you got this wolf spain you're probably going to use these hands out of the package you want those werewolf hands you want those scratching hands those clawing hands that's the way to go here with old wolf spain but Wolf Spain looking interesting. Head sculpt department. She does not look happy. She does not look happy at all. Got those kind of teeth barren there. She's got her nose kind of scrunched up. Got her eyebrows way up in the air so you know something bad's going on. And she's got some big old eyes. Her hairdo looks a lot like Wolverine. She's got those kind of spikes all kind of moved up there. So very similar to that, of course. I do like the X-Men outfit, or I'm going to say X-Factor outfit. That's where I'm going to put her in my collection as the other ones with my new mutants. And we'll get to that one here in a second. But got a little zipper action. Got the X on there. Got a little belt going on. Some belt buckles. Yellow and blue attack on here. Looking good, but predominantly this body, it's about the fur. It's all about the fur. She needs a, a date with a razor, maybe. We'll see. But she does got that orange fur throughout on her. 
Looking pretty good, looking like a werewolf, I guess is what we'll say. A female werewolf, of course. And we do know her arms do go all the way around. Very tight joints on her arms all the way around. Bicep cuts. Double jointed pinless elbows. You know we're here for that. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side. Waist articulation, nope, but she does got the hula hoop at the top. You can even hear it a little bit there. And we're going to do the old splits if you need them. Legs go up, thigh cut, double jointed, pinless knees looking beautiful right there. And then you get the ankles back and forth, up and down. Bare feet on her. She's got no peg holes in her feet either. So don't even try to put her on her stand. It is not going to work. There's no way Wolf Spain is going to take her last stand here at the table. But an interesting one, very tight joints, which I do think works out. I always prefer tight joints. I don't know anybody that likes loose joints out of the package. But it does look good. It does feel good. It is good to have another key member of the X-Factor team in figure form. And I'm sure you guys are like me. Give me all the X-Force people. Give me all the new mutants. Give me all the X-Factor. Give me all the Generation X. Give me all the Excalibur. And, of course, the Uncanny X-Men, the regular X-Men, and everybody else under the sun. I want new characters. want new features. want new, new guys and gals on my sh uh, shelf. New mutants and things like that. And I am here for that. So Wolfsbane looking pretty good. Not sure exactly how I'm going to get her to stand, though, without a stand. Uh, I'm sure you can get it. You just got to work at it. I don't know if I got the patience to sit here and work at it. But I do got the patience to bring out her prior figure here. This is New Mutants uh, version here. Now, this was a Walgreens exclusive in a way. As was it the Danny Moonstar pack? Was that what it was? I think that's what it was. And, she, and Danny Moonstar came with multiple heads. So you knew I had to buy multiple bodies there. And we did get this version here. A younger version. Different skin tone color. Different colors. All that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely a different look here. But we got two werewolf women uh, going on. It's almost uh, like that, what was it, Werewolf Women of the SS or something? Wasn't that the Rob Zombie trailer he did that one time? Never forget. Never forget. But also, never forget about He-Man. Never forget about a shirtless guy that lives out in the wild. Dare I say the Savage Land. Looking like a young He-Man is what he looks like to me. But I'm sure he was probably before He-Man, wasn't he? I'd have to look that up. Uh, but that's what he reminds you of, a He-Man, a uh, kind of George of the Jungle type guy, something like that, uh, is definitely Kazar. And I first came into contact with Kazar. Yes, I was out in the Savage Land myself. No, it was the X-Men animated series back in the day. I'm pretty sure he was a part of that, wasn't he? Wasn't he? They were in the Savage Land. I think he was there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we do remember there was that Marvel Legends box set. It was at San Diego Comic-Con back in the day. I did not get that set. So great to have this one here all these years later. And I think it works to have Zabu as, uh, of course, not Sabu. Don't get confused with your ECW wrestlers. It's Zabu is the Build-A-Figure. And you got to have Kazar to go along with that. There's no doubt in my mind there. Looking very interesting on the side here. Looking like a guy ready to take it to the Savage Land. Same thing on the side there. And then on the back, there's a little glamour shot. Cross cell, jibber jabber. Let's see what it says about our friend Kazar. In a lost world full of prehistoric dinosaurs, Kazar performs heroics as Lord of the Jungle alongside the saber tooth Zabu. Oh, everybody loves a saber tooth tiger. Unless you're Wolverine. We know Wolverine and the saber tooth tigers do not get along very well. Packaging. See you later up high. Goodbye. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. We got hands. We got knives. We got a spear. Oh, he's going to sh chuck a spear at you. Be careful. And we got Zabu's leg as well. As we work to build Zabu. Oh, we're going to be a great day. And will he be one of the best builder figures of the year? We're going to find that out at the end of 2024. So stay tuned to those videos. Always a busy time on the channel doing our year-end rankings. Always a lot to talk about at the end of the year. See you later. Goodbye. Who are we fooling? There's a lot to talk about every single day of the year, really, at the end of the day. But you got one leg here. One Zabu leg. We're going to stick that to our Zabu pile. We'll get to him in the future, of course. Now we do get two kind of clawing hands, maniacal, magical hands. Magical? Maybe out of the package here. But you do get two fists of Kazar Fury. That makes sense for me. I feel that is a must. And then you got two up and down hinge hands here. And I guess maybe th for throwing spear action. You could do that. Or maybe he's doing something else. I don't know what he's up to. It's a wild time out in that jungle, as we do know. It's a lonely time out there, too. But he's got that in case he needs that. Now, you do get a little knife going on here. Always here for a little knife. And this makes sense to have this out in the Savage Land. You never know when you might got a gutted animal to eat or something. Or stab somebody in the neck if they get across you or something. Who knows? But we do get that silver blade, gold handle, straight up knife there. And then you get a very primitive weapon, which makes sense in a Savage Land. You get a spear going here. A big old arrowhead on the end. A little rope holding it down. And then a nice uh, wooden uh, stick, I guess, is what's on the other end of this. But you don't want to be on the business end of this, I can tell you that much 
right here at the table. But now we got old Kazar here. And as I said, I've been wanting this figure for quite some time. It's needed here. And it looks like Kazar may have took a, a brief stop off in, of course, Eternia and got uh, one of the most famous, of course, as we do know, loincloths here. And Eternia known for their quality loincloths. Kazar must have picked that up along the way. But I do like we got a little holster on the back here because you can kind of Carry that knife back there. You can just stick it in the back. This is a guy that's just ready. He's ready to go. He's got a holder for his knife back there. I'm here for that for sure. Looking at the head here, I don't know if I could tell you this is Kazar right off the bat. If somebody said, give you five guesses who this is in the Marvel Legends, I don't know. But once you put it on this body, it's like, oh, there's Kazar. But without it, you're like, okay, is this a young Magneto before the hair turned white? Uh, who is this guy? But he's very stoic, very uh, determined looking face here. Got those blue eyes, blonde hair. He's ready to go. No doubt about it. And then he does got the He-Man style boots on as well. Probably picked those up on his Eternia trip as well. Saved all of his Savage Land pennies and put it together at Eternia. Got some nice fancy boots and a loincloth here. But besides that, it's a naked guy. He's got no top, no legs, and nothing going on. He's just living that life. You better be careful of ticks, that's for sure. And leeches and things like that. Uh, it's a wild time in the Savage Land, I'm sure. But it looks like he's got a pretty decent articulation. You do got butterfly shoulders on him. His arms go all the way around. You get a bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. We're here for that. Hands back, forth, side to side. Head removable back, forth, side to side. Pretty good movement on that head. Look at all that down on there. Not as much up because of his hair limiting it there, of course. Ab crunch, waist articulation. Big old Savage Land splits if you do need them. Legs go up. Thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees, very tight, boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side. He's got all that Marvel Legends articulation and a very nice figure here. I can see people doing different customs with this figure as well. You could turn this into a few different characters from Marvel properties and other properties, really, if you wanted to. He does fit on a Marvel Legends, or I should say a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle, save 10% at ringside collectibles. Make sure you get a Mattel stand for these figures, of course. But, but two must-have figures here for me today. I've been wanting Kazar in the collection for quite some time, and I mentioned earlier, I want all the X-Force, X-Men, X-Factor, you name it, characters, and Wolfsbane will go great on my X-Factor shelf, so that's always a plus. That's always a positive at the end of the day. So two must-have figures, if you ask me. The rest of the way, we'll see what ends up happening. We'll be unboxing those as well, so make sure you do subscribe. Stay tuned to that. But, man, these are two of the ones I was looking forward to possibly the most. We'll see how it ranks, though, once we get everybody out of the package. But there it is, Wolfsbane and Kazar. What are your guys' thoughts? Pickups, passes, long games, no games? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And, of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. As we got two YouTube channels with videos every single day, make sure you subscribe to both channels. Of course, appreciate all of that. And you get early access to both YouTube channels over there as a Patreon member. Sign up to the Patreon. Link in the description down below. You get all the glamour shots. You get early access to the videos, giveaways, Q&As, you name it. All going down on the Patreon every single day. Appreciate all the support over there. Check it out. And, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Pick up a t-shirt. Don't forget my book, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstar Series. Available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble as we speak. Appreciate the support there. And then don't forget to hit me up on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Kazar and Wolfsbane and a trip to the Savage Land, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.